rounds of boxing scheduled in a heavyweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Mandalay Bay, it's Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing dark green trunks with white trim, and hailing from Detroit, Michigan. He weighed in at 217 pounds, a veteran of 14 world title appearances. His record stands at 66 wins, 4 losses, 2 draws, with 42 wins coming by way of knockout tonight challenging the odds as he steps up to the heavyweight division here is the former IBF middleweight world champion the former IBF super middleweight world champion and the current IBF cruiserweight champion of the world ladies and gentlemen introducing James the ring on my right really needing no introduction the world over fighting out of the red corner wearing purple trunks and black trim representing his hometown of atlanta georgia he weighed in at 219 pounds with a record of 38 wins six losses and two draws he has 25 wins coming by way of knockout ladies and gentlemen here is the former undisputed cruiserweight world champion the former undisputed heavyweight world champion and the one and only four-time heavyweight champion of the world please welcome boxing's true warrior introducing evander the real deal Once again, a referee in charge is Jay Nady. Now to give instructions, 12 rounds of action scheduled. Jay, when I gave you instructions for the dressing room, we have any questions? Okay, the belly button's in the demarcation line. The such gloves will go to work. Good luck. Would we even be here tonight if not for the current state of the heavyweight division? That said, when you look at both guys together, the physical difference is immediately apparent. Holyfield really does look bigger. Nearing 20 years as a pro, still looking phenomenal. Tony's desired weight, as mentioned, was uh, closer to 200, came in closer to 220. Was that because for the first time in his career, he didn't have to make weight? Did he train any differently to bulk up? Did he spend too much time promoting the fight? The extra weight may help him on the inside against a strong guy like Holyfield, but will it affect his speed and quickness, which he's been saying all along will be the difference in this fight. He wants to keep a fast pace, does Tony. Bottom line, what kind of shape is Tony in? We'll soon find out. Well, the first punch of the fight for Vander Holyfield was what? A left hook. So There's a surprise. Yeah, he knows he's got to throw that punch, and uh, he must use the jab. Part of the problem with that, oh, there it is again. And that is his best punch. It is, and the jab has been missing from the Holyfield arsenal in recent fights because he said he can't keep the hand up because the shoulder bothers him so much, he has to let it lay down and he can't throw the jab. We'll see in this fight whether it's back. There's a... Left hook attempt there by a Holyfield. That missed. Holyfield would flat out beat up opponents early in his career. These days, priding himself on ring smarts. Stop! Adjustments on the fly, which really came to light in the first meeting with Mike Tyson. As he discovered already, the answer to Tony's style. Holyfield with an overhand right. James Tony is a very good defensive fighter, but the way you beat him is you do throw that hook, and there it is. Holyfield knows what to do, and he's doing it here in this round. On the inside, a very effective left hook by Holyfield. 
And let's let's make another important point here early, and perhaps James Tony will make a liar out of this point. He's never been hit by a guy that hits like Evander Holyfield. And Tony has never been seriously Stop. hurt go, in back. his career. Go he's he's never been stopped. He's only been down a couple of times. The last time was 1994 with Roy Jones. And of course, as we point out, the guy, the people he's been fighting were middleweights, super middleweights, and then of course up to cruiserweight. This is Lee Giroff, while he was very busy and very aggressive in their last fight, through many arm punches. <laughs> of course, he's been through a lot of wars in the Kronk gym, probably against bigger guys. You wonder if he's ever felt the power of an Evander Holyfield, although Holyfield throughout his career, not really known as a knockout puncher, but he made up for that with heart and courage and guts. But he's a bruiser, he's very rough on the inside, accused by many of using roughhouse tactics. That's a heavy right let hand, go, go. a short, crisp right hand to the head by Holyfield. And if you're looking for signs one way or the other, not only is it good for Holyfield that he's thrown the hook so much, he's even getting the right hand in. You don't normally land that against Tony. And Holyfield is picking off shots defensively by Tony. A very good first round for the legendary Holyfield, who just oh, made no, Tony no. buckle with a body shot just no. before the bell. a picture-perfect first round for Evander Holyfield. We take, look at the size difference between the two men. It is really graphic. And here we will see Holyfield ripping the hooks. He comes here with a, an excellent hook right to the face of James Tony. It's a short one and gets in. And it was a weapon that he used. So, so far, that repaired shoulder is working. We take yet another look at it. And what makes this special is it was a very short, compact punch. And this is the end of the round where they were rumbling a little bit after the bell. Again, the hook is in by uh, Holyfield and may have buckled Tony and James Tony taking umbrage at the fact that something may have come after the bell. Certainly not the same Evander Holyfield we saw in his last fight against Chris Bird when he looked very sluggish and mistakenly tried to match wits with the slickster Bird. He is very aggressive and attacking James Tony, and he comes off a terrific opening round. Holyfield threw nearly 30 left hooks, well over 26 left hooks in the uh, first round. So here's a guy who, all, who now finally has that weapon back again and is using it with uh, Great dispatch. Tony trying to get into a rhythm here, starting to throw that left. Misses with the right. Tony jabbing more now and using his uh, crafty defensive skills. He is a great counterpuncher. What I'm seeing out of Holyfield is here, he's fighting in sustained fashion. He is not fighting in spurts. He's not just trying to steal things. One of the weapons that Holyfield's not using yet is the jab. Tony's jabbed a little bit better. And there you see Tony trying to use the jab upstairs, the downstairs, and then go upstairs. There's a beautiful jab stuffed in there by uh, Holyfield. That was okay. That was not a low blow, says Jay Nady. By Evander Holyfield. James Tony wants this fight in the center of the ring. You can see he is trying desperately to stay off the ropes. He knows that's a real danger area for him. And he realizes it more now, Steve, after the first round in which he was in that position and couldn't counterpunch like he normally does and was hit with big hooks to the body and the head. Stop! Break! I like the way uh, Holyfield is setting his distance. And he's trying to throw as Tony gets ready to throw, which was a device used very successfully against a fellow named Mike Tyson in that great first fight. Tony being more aggressive, though, here in the second round, starting to get some of his punches off, a slight subtle change. He's able to land a little bit. And he's getting a little more cutesy now. That's his style, that tricky side-stepping, slipping, the shifting. Nothing low, Evander. Now, Holyfield's doing a good job committing to the body. Stop! Let him out, let him out. And one low there, keep it up. But at least in round two, Tony has found a home for the jab, an occasional hook, an occasional right hand. And certainly made it a much closer round. And Holyfield has been more inactive. Now Holyfield, yes, more measuring. 
the work rate has really gone down since that big first round. Nice quick in left hook to the jaw by Tony. A crisp one. That caught Holyfield with his defenses down. Tony making Stop. Holyfield push miss out, a out. lot Thank more you. in this round and maybe doing enough to steal this round. Holyfield missing, but he got him on the inside with a left Stop. hook Stop. uppercut. A better round for James Tony, round two. But the crowd getting behind Holyfield at the end. trying to steal the rounds on you, right? Don't let that happen, okay? When you hit that 10 second bell, you're gonna pick it up from me, okay? Okay. You control him. Holyfield anxious to work the body. And that one, eh, right on the border. And then he tries to double with it over the head of Tony. James Tony had his moments, a lot of moments in that last round, actually. And you're not supposed to be able to hook with a left hook artist. Well, he did it right there and got away with it. Shades of some of the hand speed that Tony Holmes will be his calling card during this match. And we enter round three, scheduled for 12, a heavyweight non-title bout. Holyfield sticking the jab, and it's effective. Let's see if he follows it up with the right. Of course, uh, his key combination is, uh, Alice pointed out, the double left hook to the body and to the head. And so far, that uh, left hand seems okay after the shoulder surgery. You know, Holyfield landed that big right. You very seldom do that against Tony. Yes, he's throwing left hooks, but there's one small element missing from what Evander Holyfield is doing. He's not taking that step to the left. When you don't do that against Tony, you miss with the hook, and he's doing that more in this in the last two rounds. And Tony is as good a counter puncher there is in the sport today. Nice body Stop. work downstairs by Let Tony. Go. Go back. Back. Let's not forget Holyfield's age. He's 41 years of age. You can't always sustain what you want over the course of a round when you're 41. And here comes Tony back again. Tony with a nice long jab, but one and done. Excellent oh, right by James Tony, a counter punch. And this fight is now settling into what we thought it would be for however long it lasted. And that was two men pot shotting each other and it right in front of each other, throwing and landing. Holyfield told us at our meeting with him that he would try this uh, several times during the fight, try and get Tony, lure him in so he could counter him. And that's what he's trying to do now. Tony's not getting hit with any counter punches. He's actually landing a few of his own, including that beautiful left hook on the inside. Tony acknowledging something to his corner. And then he got hit with a combination Don't because hold. of it. Don't hold. Watch your head, Evander. Watch your head. Stop. Well, you know the... Uh, the history of Evander Holyfield, as far as the head is concerned, Mike Tyson, John Ruiz, Asim Rahman uh, could tell you about it. Left-right combination upstairs did have full impact by Holyfield. It is very hard to hit Tony with a perfect stop, right stop, hand. Stop, 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 stop. You got to keep your head away from his head. Jane warning Holyfield about the head, uh, jumping right on that issue. Of course, uh, a lot of fighters complaining that Holyfield is dirty. Others say it just gets rough on the inside, and that's the kind of fighter he is. Tony said he's very prepared for that, and he, he just wipes off the sweat off his shoulder as if to say to Holyfield, "We're not hurting me." A confident James no. Tony to Thank this you. point, that's for sure. He is gaining a confidence. Oh, <laughs> Inside Benny Lynch. Get some talk in there, little fucker. Short. Short. Well, effective on the outside. You don't got to go inside, do you? He's standing up straight when you're throwing your hook. That's why he's getting under it. Bend your legs. When you, when you hit these corners, watch for his overhand right. He hit the front one time. 
early in the round, James Holyfield was able to do something you seldom can do against Tony Land, a good right hand, but you see how well Tony slips these punches. This is where you got to step to your left and crank left hooks. Holyfield couldn't do it. And later on in the round, dare I say the hand speed of James Tony, which is apparently at this juncture a little better than Evander Holyfield. No matter what pounds he's fighting at, uh, the right hand gets in. Tony's hand speed is making a difference right now. I'm not saying it's dazzling at this point, but it's certainly better than Holyfield's. Tony's motion toward his corner was actually directed toward the judge over there, we are told, in trying to indicate to the judge that he hit Evander Holyfield. He's working the judges. Tony unleashing a some leverage and fires the straight right. That's your head, Evander. Tony looking a lot better since the first round. Holyfield is doing what he did against Bird, coming inside and smothering his punches. Could that mean the left shoulder's bothering him again? He can't keep the left up. That's when he does it, when he can't keep that left up and jab his way. He has to come inside. And he's kept the left low and Tony's hit it with right hands. It might be affecting him negatively, you're right. And when you're almost 41 years old, those problems can crop up in a second. Back comes Holyfield. Well, now it's what we thought it was going to be, isn't it? It's a slugfest. The defense of Tony right now is excellent, though. The war on October 4 living up to its building now. And Holyfield's doing the right thing by working the body of Tony. If you can't hit him in the head, go to the body because this is a 12-round fight. He weighs 217 pounds. You want to slow him down. All right, stop. Tony hoping that Holyfield punches himself out. Under a minute left. What's your and head? an action packed Let fourth go, round. Let go, let go. That right hand by Holyfield got in there very well against Tony. Now, does Tony think he's punched himself out? Will he try and come back now? Tony with a very fast pace. And he's a lot busier now. Crisp left hooks. Three in a row unanswered. A right uppercut on the jaw by Tony on the inside. Work out of there. Don't hold. Four good shots by James right, Tony stop. during that sequence. Stop. You can't push him around with your head. Jane Eddy again cautioning Holyfield to be careful with the head. That left hook blocked by Holyfield. Very interesting round to score. Time! I thought it was another good round for Tony. In my bucket. Jesus Christ. Deep breath. Very good, James. Right here. Tony got against the ropes. And, of course, he wants to smother the punches of Holyfield and land his counter punches. There's Holyfield working the body. Tony himself coming back. That's what he does. He counters off those ropes effectively. Holyfield getting some of those shots in well, some being blocked. This is vintage James Tony. And look at him. Land the uppercut. It is so hard to hit him when he's in this posture. And you see, actually, a lot of Holyfield's punches not getting in there, even though he did land some. That is quintessential James Tony. Holyfield has a fight Pick on his hands water. here with water, James water. Tony. As we head into round five, scheduled for 12. Tony now brimming with confidence, tripling up on the left, firing a straight right. And Tony is getting off first. There's a big overhand right to the chin. A left hook to the other side of Holyfield's face. Flicking the jab, doing it all. Twisting and turning. James Tony 
all of a sudden seems to have Holyfield in his pocket. Oh, what a heavy right hand showing the chin of Holyfield. Big shot by Tony. Another one over the top. That oh. left of Holyfield's has gone so low, the lead right by Tony is a slam dunk for him. Press row scoring. It's all knotted up. I have it uh, three rounds to one, but the fourth round, a very close round, and it, I could see it being even after four rounds. That is not out of the question. That fourth round was a close round. What's your hitting, Vander? Tony off to a tremendous start in this round. I'm of the belief Tony is slightly ahead at this point. Now, Overfield, when he's on the inside here, should be taking that step to the left and making a work. Instead, it's Tony with the double left hook. Well, hold on, hold on. James Tony is hooking with the left hook artist. And if anything shows that he's in control of this fight, that is it right now. The fight. is not affecting Tony's quickness or speed with his hands whatsoever. Again, doubling up with the left is James. Beautiful combination upstairs by James Tony, a countering right, but Holyfield couldn't connect. Interesting, we have role reversal here. Tony getting off first. And Holyfield doing a lot of counter. Tony's known as a superb counter puncher. Oh, what a zinging straight right hand to the head of Holyfield. James Tony continues to score. Holyfield is waiting for that to counter, but the problem is he's getting hit, and his hand speed isn't up to the task right now, and he's not getting to the left where he can land that, that hook. And this is becoming a replay of so many previous James Tony fights where the fighters stand on his right side and can't land any punches. It's a footwork issue for Holyfield now as much as anything. Look at him. He's in the wrong position. He can't get that hook in. Now he moves for a Big flurry at the end of the uh, round by Holyfield. But once again, a big round for Tony. Here is where the left hand is low. A right hand will come across from James Tony. That left hand staying very, very low by Evander Holyfield, and he can't block the right hand. And the combinations from James Tony. One of the keys to victory. He had to throw more than one punch at a time. He's doing it. He said Holyfield's, oh my God, he sticks his tongue out at Evander Holyfield. He said Holyfield would be available for these punches, and so far, he has been. Going backwards. Work that jab, bumping backwards and banging. Let's go. Use that left hand. Evander Holyfield with an incredible look of concern on his face, perhaps underestimating James Tony. And let's remember, he's just short of his 41st birthday. And at a certain point, athletes can wear down. And athletes, particularly fighters, can get old. They turn old in one night. You know, after a textbook for a oh, body shot by Tony, and you saw the reaction, the grimace of Holyfield. It was a perfect first round for Evander Holyfield, and since then, it has been all James Tony. Now again, Tony motioning over, I can only assume to the judge who is smiling. Stop, let him out. Let go call two. To tell him once again, I connected with a punch. <laughs> Just in case he didn't see it. You know what? I, doesn't he know we're supposed to do the commentary? Wow, he is just devastating Evander Holyfield now, and Holyfield with no answers. And let's say this about James Tony. He told us, I'm gonna throw combinations. I will have hand speed in this fight. Don't be deceived by the fact that I've got big arms, that I weighed more than everybody thought I should. And so far, and we say so far, he's fighting through on his problems. Well, to this point, that is true. It is uh, very easy to say that the extra weight is having 
no negative effect on James Tony. And Holyfield smothering himself, doing exactly what he did against Chris Burr. What the reason for that is, I don't know. Is it because the arm hurts and he can't get it up? And, uh, you know, you throw the jab, it's very low right now. Whatever the reason, he is not fighting a smart fight right now. Not a good strategic fight and not a very active fight. And again, I've seen James, I've, I've been on broadcast 15 or 20 James Tony fights. You can't, you gotta get to your left and rip punches and right now he's not doing it. Tony just digging in with left hands to Holyfield's body. Has to be wearing Holyfield out. Holyfield with tremendous guts, plowing forward. And now, Stop. hanging up. Let go. Let Holyfield starting to really show the wear and tear and the exhaustion. Oh, what a right hand by Tony. And then eluding the comebacker, the left hook try by Stop. Holyfield. Stop. 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 You got to watch banging him. You're, you're hitting him. Stop. Now, that looked like a use of the head by Holyfield. Jane Aidy gave him another caution. Might take a point away. I have to tell you, there's another factor to this. James Tony's hit Evander Holyfield with, Evander, I guess, is almost the best punches you can throw, and Holyfield hasn't gone anywhere, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Now he's going backwards, but he swings wildly, Holyfield, and misses. Perhaps out of frustration, going back to the head, buddy. Bell, bell, bell! Thank you. Punch him under. Push. The combination punching by Tony is simply too much right now for Holyfield. Talking to the judge and saying, hey, I landed that shot. And then uh, watch, I'm going to land some more. I mean, that's, that's bravado like you wouldn't expect to see in this fight. The right hand's been a very important weapon for Tony. And look how he slips those punches. He's a very good defensive fighter. And here's where they caution. Well, that, you know, Holyfield dipped his head and banged Tony's and did it again. So Jane Aidy correct and giving him a warning and I think a point deduction soon wouldn't be bad. And almost whispering tones in the Holyfield corner, Don Turner, who's been with the, the Real Deal seven years, told Holyfield, you gotta get busy. He's punching over, so you punch under. Let's see. Well, it may be too late in terms of stamina and all the rest of it for Holyfield to change his game plan. He may have to feel and it may be that he's going to have to land something that hurts James Tony. And remember, in the first round of the half, he did land some big shots, and apparently they didn't hurt Tony. Tony is so bubbling with confidence right now, he strutted back to his corner. Keep your head back. That last sequence was this fight in microcosm. Holyfield right. landed a Thank right you. hand, wasn't perfect, came with the left hook, which was blocked, came with another left hook, which was uh, which Tony slipped. That is what he's facing. Don't hold, don't hold. Scores unofficial at the halfway point. Don't hold, let go, let go, hold. Here's your press row, people. They've got Tony now inching ahead. Remember, it was all tied up earlier after four. And through six, they've got Tony up a couple of points. I have Tony ahead by, uh, I have winning every round since the first. One, the fourth was very close. So you have a, a bit Box. of a bigger disparity yep. than the judges along press row. Midway through the seventh round. Momentum swinging early after a good first round by Holyfield. Tony coming up. Watch your hand, Very it's strong. No knockdowns. Holyfield looks tired. He is fighting in spurts. He is not fighting full rounds. That's and that okay. has been uh, symptomatic of what has caused his problems in the last five or six fights, and it's continued oh. here tonight. A booming right hand to the head by Tony. And Holyfield just stands there and absorbs it. He's absorbed a lot of punishment tonight at the hands of the smaller James Tony. But he keeps on fighting. 
Watch your heads! Trying. Watch your heads! Not enough punches coming from Evander Holyfield, and we don't know at this juncture if he can hurt Tony with a big shot. Tony just too fast for him, too quick. Stop! Stop! Elusive defensively. Bang on one. Go, go. Evander Holyfield, who is on that crusade to become undisputed champion once again. You have to wonder about, about that after this performance stop, stop. tonight Thank against you. a cruiserweight champion. James, beautiful, beautiful. Get everything. That's the way. Keep turning this guy for me, okay? All right? All right you land those shots, don't stand right. Take it. Take it. I didn't breathe. Hold your mouth open. I think there's eight coming up. Yeah. He continued. Tony promised us he would beat Holyfield to the punch. He has done that. You notice Holyfield throws the hook, but it's blocked by Tony. Look at the defensive moves of James Tony. He says he's a, a throwback. He is that. An aficionado of legends like Ezra Charles and Sugar Ray Robinson now looking to end the career of a, of a legend in Evander Holyfield. But you get the feeling in listening to Holyfield now that even a loss tonight. Big right hand by Holyfield out of nowhere. Big right hand stop by Tony. Guys, you get the feeling after listening to Holyfield, even with a loss tonight, he won't step away from the sport. It is going to take a freight train to hit him. Well, stop we'll see. Guys, Based let's, upon let's this back. performance, he is certainly not now? doing well. You know, Tony, his old trainer Bill Miller showed him all those films of a Walcott, Ezra Charles, and a fighter who he really fears, Rocky Marciano. Yeah. And he is not fighting like Rocky Marciano because it's all about hand speed and combinations of defense, but I'll tell you what, he's showing that kind of grit and determination. He reveres Marciano because he was a small heavyweight. Now this is vintage James Tony. He does his thing, steps back, admires, and then comes forth again. He's had, I mean, the Jiroff fight in this fight and one or two before that is the best he's fought in over a decade. It's fascinating. It's as if a light switch came on. And even though he hasn't lost since 1997, Tony, he hasn't performed well. Now he's getting really cute. He's got to be careful sticking out his left arm. He's getting hit by Holyfield, but apparently Don't not being hurt. And that's a new story. Look at him. He's looking at the judge again. The judge is laughing. And Holyfield whacked him with three good punches. Watch your head, please. Tony's co-pilot in the corner, Freddie Roach, up to this point, really likes what he sees. Watch your head, please. You know, Vander Holyfield's not a bad heavyweight puncher. He's knocked some people out. And one thing you don't lose even with your age usually is the power you do have. He's hit James Tony with some very nice shots. And none of them have made a huge impact. And we say that because that leads us now to talk about Stop. James Tony, the heavyweight. Does this mean, based upon this performance so far, that James Tony can take some pretty good heavyweight punches? It may well. There's a little trickle of blood from the uh, lower lip of Evander Holyfield. As Tony continues to press forward, Holyfield trying to escape the ropes, which he does. And blood now coming down heavier from the mouth of Holyfield. And he can't answer. That was an opportunity to answer right there. Tony with a wild right hand, he left himself wide open and no counterpunch by Holyfield. He just stood there. Again, nothing. Comes back with a couple of soft left hands. And no effect on Tony. Tony stares him down. And again, struts back to his corner. Hey, Holy, listen. Let me tell you something. Listen good to me. If you don't stop getting hit with them right hands, I'm gonna stop this fight, man. You hear what I'm telling you, man? Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta take charge, man. 
I care too much for you to be see you be getting it with these right hands. That's exactly right. It's right on. You? You're getting hit with right hands that you shouldn't be getting hit with. Okay. 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 Gotta go. You want another you round? Want another round? You want another now. round? Good. Okay. okay, well, fight okay. then. Okay. Fight, fight yeah, then, well, man. Come on, let's go, man. Right get him out of here. Sure. Get him out of here. Come on. Put it out. Put it out. Put it out. You got to put out, man. Come on. A dramatic, perhaps sad moment there in the corner. Don Turner urging Evander Holyfield, showing compassion for Holyfield's health. And welfare. That's one of the most poignant moments I remember in a boxing corner in a long time. And let's see what happens. Telling Evander Holyfield, you continue to get hit by these right hands, which you just got hit by again. There it is again. I'm going to stop the fight. Holyfield never, never acquitted. He's just going to stand in there. He didn't really respond. Did you hear him say anything? No. It, 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 he kind of shook his head. He said something about, I'll do it. But I don't know. It stop. wasn't with conviction. Stop, it was with stop, soft stop, tones. Stop, stop, stop. Thank there you. Now he's No quit. Of course. And Evander all of his. You check out the press row scoring. It continues to run for Tony. Oh, there's a short left hook. Another one by Holyfield. Oh, he's just, he's trying. He's hitting him with hooks. Now, they're partially blocked, and that's not hurting James Tony. He's going for it all here. He's throwing hey, man, it all hey, to Tony now. Get, you just can't back him like that. Can't He's looking for a, for a Hollywood turnaround, a dramatic turnaround, Holyfield. He knows. That was what he had, and for the first time, you saw him hold on. This fight could be moments, or at least a minute or two away from ending. Yes? We may be seeing the end of an era. It's going to be ruled a knockdown. Four, five, you okay? Six, are you all right? Seven, you sure you okay? Come to me. Eight. And they, I think they throw in the towel. Don Turner is throwing the towel. No disagreement whatsoever from referee Jay Nady. And it's over. James Tony has stopped the Vander Holyfield. Okay, look at him. Look at him.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 42 seconds in round number nine. Our referee in charge, Jay Nady, recognizes the corner and agrees. He stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, James the second man to stop Evander Holyfield. The only time before this was against Riddick Bowe. And how much bigger is Riddick Bowe? Granted, it was years ago and it was Evander Holyfield in his prime. How much bigger is Riddick Bowe as a man normally than James Tony? That's truly astonishing. And James Tony made good on his promise. And that man a legend in the sport could be headed to retirement. It was the third fight with Bo, a TKO round number eight. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Steve. James, congratulations on the fight tonight. Were you simply just too quick and too fast for Evander Holyfield? I'm too quick, I'm too quick and too fast for anybody who's sitting in the room with me as a heavyweight. That's the bottom line. You know, Jim, I don't know why you come up here. Don't come up here and try to give me no badass questions, try to degrade me. I want to thank the God, thank the man upstairs. Question's legitimate. Were you, were you too quick? Evander Holyfield was a great fighter. Don't diminish that at any time. Holyfield's a great warrior. He came to fight. Bottom line. Did he ever Who's hurt next? you? Who's next? I got milk, baby. Who's next? My mom, Shay, Uncle Larry. Oh, everybody love y'all. Did he ever hurt you me. at any point tonight? Bob Scott. No, he never hurt me, man. I'm, un I'm undestructible. Don't forget that when I'm ready, I'm indestructible, baby. I'll find anybody out there anywhere, anytime. Next! Next! Who's next? Detroit, baby. Detroit! Well, 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 who is, well, MC. I don't uh, care. Uh, Whoever Dan Gusolano, that's who I'm knocking over next. Bottom line, Goose and Tudor, we're number one, we're taking over the thing. You know that? Hey, hey, uh, my talent, my talent speaks for itself. I ain't gonna answer nobody else's questions. I'm going home. We're gonna have a party. Oh, we're gonna have a party. Everybody dollar me. If they don't want to respect me, fuck them. You got your respect. Excuse me. Bottom line, Goose Tudor, a Van Holyfield's great fighter. Hey, I watched him when I was a kid. I loved the guy, but I had to do what I had to do. That's what I get paid to do. Bottom line, Detroit in the house. You, you, Emmanuel Stewart. James. I got your message, baby. Let's try and have you a, know it. Let's try and have a decent interview no, and a conversation here. Hold on a second here. Come on, let's go over to Evander Holyfield. Evander, father time, just catch up tonight? Well, no, um, he was able to get off before I did. He was, um, oh, oh, come on. Ain't worried about it. Okay. Love you, dog, for real. Much respect to you. Much love, baby. Go ahead. Well, you know, I, I, the big thing is that uh, he was able to get off before me. Uh, the time is to live all, and, and, uh, and he, you know, he got he got off. Before yes, me. James still thinks there's a fight in here. <laughs> I don't know. He, he got off before me. Yeah, he was he was, a, he was a lot quicker, and um, and at times that um, I got him in a position to hit him at uh, he his agility. He just a little too quick, a little quick too, too quick for me. Evander, you knew you're now two and eight in your last eight fights. You've won two of your last eight fights. You said before the fight that you would continue fighting. Your goal is to be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, that you'd have to be beaten up. Were you beaten up sufficiently tonight well, to stop fighting? No. I, he he won, and he, this is a fight that, you know, he got off before me and all that, and uh, his punches, he, you know, he hit when it was just an overwhelming punch. He just got off before me, and, and um, he uh, hustled me. I pointed me, and uh, he got to the position before me, and so you know he just—it's just a guy just out new out maneuver me the night just from you know from the start. He just how, how mentally difficult is it for you to be in this type of position, having been the warrior that you've been in the ring? Well, you know, warrior is a poor person that don't quit, and it's not like I I quit in there. Even though he was, uh, I was a step behind and everything that I did, he was able to get off before I was. And it's not so much that when the guy throwing, I guess, uh, three times as much punches uh, than you, and he beat you to the position, 
and not maneuver you pretty much the whole fight. This is what happened. What did Don Turner say to you after he stopped the fight? Well, he said he did what he had to do. He f felt that it was right. And um, he didn't want to see me take any more punches. And um, he did what he felt that was right. Let's take a look at the end of the fight. If we can see this right here, Evander. Tell us what's going through your mind here. Well, you know, the, the thing is that he don't hit hard enough to uh, get right there. Right there, it was just uh, just a number of punches. But, you know, I, you know, I was off balance, and it, it was a good shot. It was a shot that knocked me down, but it wasn't, you know, the shot that that, that really hurt me. And it's, it you know, it, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't. Will you go home to Atlanta now and evaluate just exactly where you are, and, and how long will that evaluation take? Of course, you know, I will go home to evaluate. And, you know, uh, I guess the most important thing in life is that when you don't do well, the first, your first thought of the mind is just quit. You know, see, that's that's a part of life, and that's what uh, that's what you know everybody do when they have a bad performance. And of course, it's just a bad performance, and and you know he he was a better man tonight. You have always been your own best equator, your own equilibrium inside. You've always known what was best. Will you listen now to others? who may have your best interest at heart in this decision? Well, I'm, I'm always listening. The fact of the matter is that, you know, still, you know, I, I give things to the Lord, and, you know, and I wish, you know, I would go back and, and observe it. Right now is to make a decision now, it would just be an emotional decision. It's easy to say, I'm finished, I'm out of here, because, you know, uh, you know, a guy like myself, this is something that usually don't happen. I don't usually have nights. Uh, this off and you know just like I said let somebody beat me up then I have said you know the guy the guy did beat me up today I mean that he got the best and he he out hustled me he out pointed me in every position and 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 I didn't use size I didn't use anything as a measure to to do anything so you know you know I don't have no excuses this left arm was fine I didn't use it. My legs were fine. I didn't use. I didn't use none of the things that that naturally I would would have used. And, and you know, the one thing I was waiting on, as as confident as he got, I started seeing that he was getting open. And the big thing is, when you hurt, this is time that you can really catch catch a person. I know I hit a lot harder than him, and it just, you know, unfortunate they stopped the fight. But I, you know, at just the point he had me hurt, he, he opened up and throw and throw big big loose looping punches. And I felt that my better chance is that since he felt that he's hurt me and all that, I can catch him with a clean shot. He, he just he had, couldn't quite do it. Well he had to run his defense. He's you know, it's 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 not like the guy that don't have good defense, he's, he's a good a good fighter. All right, Evander, we appreciate your time tonight. Most gracious in defeat. You've been a great champion. Thank you.